Showdown at Valencia. It will be a really hot race at the Circuit de la Comunidad Valenciana Ricardo Tormo. Tomšik against Spengler. That was the big duel before qualifying. After qualifying for the ninth round of the 2011 DTM season, the big question is, will Swede Matthias Ekström still play a role in the battle for the title? Yeah, I'm really happy about my performance and the result. Yesterday we had a great day, today nearly perfect. I mean, I have to say a big thank to Hans-Jürgen Albert and my race engineer Alex at Alpsfortsland because they were sending me out when there were some clouds out there and uh, as soon as the clouds disappeared, they, they started to go in the sun and enjoy it and then they said, now you have to go before the conditions are changing. First things first. With his Audi A4, Ekström will be starting from pole position at Valencia on Sunday. Thus, the Swede will be in front for the 17th time in his career. I think that was the key, most strategically uh, the best. And I could do only one lap in Q3 and then my tyres were fresher than the others in Q4. So it was a great day. On Sunday, Portuguese Philippe Albuquerque will be starting second with his Audi, his best starting grid position in the DTM to date. Compared to the, my other qualifying, it's a big step, but uh, this is DTM and uh, I've show, been showing quite good speed in free practice, but this time I made it. Quite happy also be close to be on my home, it's the closest one. Dutchman Renga van der Zander ended up third on Saturday, ahead of David Coulthard, both with a Mercedes-Benz. Van der Zander will be dropped one place, because he has gained an unfair advantage by warming up the tyres prior to Q4. I'm very happy uh, to be here and um, did all the qualifying session from Q1 to Q4. Uh, I was uh, struggling quite a lot in the free practices with all the 08 cars from Mercedes and somehow when the track became more grippy we start to be quicker as well. Um, at the end of the day I'm, uh, I'm really happy to be here. The duel of Tomczyk against Spengler will be taking place in the midfield at the start of the race. Martin Tomczyk leading the driver standings with a margin of 9 points only starts from 10th place. Yeah, because we had a red flag in section 2, uh, the time um, gets added onto quali 3 and everyone is allowed to start again. But in the regulation it says that in quali 3 you just are allowed to use one set of fresh new tyres. Uh, because of the situation for Quali 4 then. So in the overall result, in terms of the championship, uh, it could be much worse with that mistake what I did. His rival for the title, Canadian Bruno Spengler, is even two places behind him. He also had tyre problems in qualifying. Uh, today I was a bit struggling with, uh, with grip, I was sliding quite a lot and uh, because of that I couldn't really, um, I just couldn't really put all my sectors together to be honest. The asphalt temperatures range from 27 to 41 degrees, making it very difficult for Tomczyk and Spengler to find the right grip. No, well, this was a strange qualifying, we did not have grip with our new cars. David did a good job, Pranker did a good job. Um, Bruno is 12th now, Tomczyk 10th and uh, anything can happen in the race. Starting grid at a glance. Four countries on the first four places. Swede Ekström in first ahead of Portuguese Albuquerque, Scott David Coulthard and Dutchman van der Sande. Remarkable six Audis and two Mercedes-Benz in the top eight. Title rivals Martin Tomczyk and Bruno Spengler on the second page. The two will move up one position because Ralf Schumacher will be dropped three places following his penalty from Oschersleben. The big question for the race on Sunday, will Tomczyk wrap up the title here in Valencia or will the duel still become a three-way fight? <laughs>